welcome back to my channel. I've come on today to do the Cooking Up Crafts Prompt Challenge, which is hosted by the lovely Amanda. This month she's pulled some prompts out for June and they are Outline Half the Project in Black, Gold or Bronze, Bubble Wrap and Copics. So this video is going to be quite bitty. I'm going to have to do everything in, in little chunks, I think, because I'm planning to use watercolour paints which will need time to dry in between each stage. So this is the start off of the video. So I'm, I'm going to use a white card this time. I normally use white paper, but it wrinkles a lot because I do put a lot of paint and water on the page. So I'm going with some white card. It isn't a particularly thick card, so it should be slightly better. And the watercolors that I'm going to use are actually these ones. Now, I went to the charity shop a couple of weeks ago and I came across, I don't think I'll be able to get it in shot, is this box here, which is a, a Windsor and Newton and it's an easel. Um, and there's a handle, it opens up as an easel. And inside it, it was full of paints. So we've got these ones, which are by a company called Reeves. And it's those sort there. And there were some extra ones. These ones are called Aquafine ones there. And the ones that I plan to use today are in this little box here. So as you can see, they're well loved or they're well used, but there's still a little bit of use. Well, there's still quite a lot of use in those. So really pleased to find those. And the whole lot, the, the easel and the paints were five pound. So I was really, really happy to, to find those. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover my page. I think I'm going to use this orange here. And they just glide, the paints just glide onto the paper. Really nice to work with. Obviously better quality than the ones that... Um, I was using before. I'm just going to cover this. Orange isn't really a colour that I work with. Um, I actually used it as my least favourite colour for Willie Steph's um, art club prompt. But I think you know, with it being watercolour, it'll it'll dry probably paler. Should be quite nice. It's actually quite a nice cheerful colour. I think I'm going to add in, I don't know what this one's called, but it's lovely sort of raspberry sort of colour. Just to add a bit of So this is going to have to be left to dry before I can move on to the next stage. Over the whole of the page, there's no white showing, or very little white. Well, I could play like this for ages, I love this. Right. So I'm going to leave that now to dry and then I'm going to pause, I'm going to stop the video and come back when this is dry to do the next stage. 
Right, now this is dried. It's dried a lot lighter, which is good. I'm going to move on to the next stage, which I'm going to use these stamps, which I've not used before. These are polka doodles. I got these off eBay. And I really like this sort of sprig and this one here and this. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp these in black around the page and then use the black Cosmic Shimmer embossing powder just to seal them onto the page and then I'll be able to colour in the little circles and leaves in the Corpix, in the pen. Well, I say Corpix, I'm presuming they're just sort of felt tip pens. Well, in my case, that's all I've got, so I'll use those. But I'm going to fast put you on fast forward a bit of music for this bit because it might take me a little while. embossed in black all the way around with the, the stamps and now I'm just having a look at I've got some little pieces of bubble wrap I've gone back to these paints again and I'm just having a bit of a, a play and a bit of an experiment there's a green lovely dark green here which I'm just putting into I don't know whether you can see into this bit here and I've just had a bit of a play to see what sort of effect I'll get with that it's a bit watery but I'm going to just go for it, I think, and just because it will dry, it will dry a lot lighter, and then that's the bubble wrap. Well, that will be drying but I've got some pens I'm going to do some colouring um, nice deep purple one here I'm just going to colour in to do now is I'm going to just take the sharpie, black sharpie and put a black board around it because I don't know whether it's going to be classed as half of the project is going to be black. It's got quite a bit of black in it. Okay. 
think what I've got left to do is I'm going to add on the top. I've got some thinking of maybe flowers. Um, obviously that's going to be the next stage that I'll come back with the final stage. I'm back again so the next thing I think I'm going to do is I've gone ahead and I've, well, I bought this this came last week came very quickly in the post from Chloe's creative cards and I bought this after watching Jane the crafting shed Davis use it in one of her videos I'll leave a link to that video down below gorgeous flowers and you can add lots of lovely little details to what, what it actually is is an embossing folder but to cut an emboss so it cuts the flower out for you but it also leaves this lovely um, indentation in each flower so I've gone ahead because it took a bit of time I've done two large ones and then I've used the watercolour paints again and I've just lightly painted over them and then I've waited for them to dry I've got two smaller ones in the deep red and then two of the really small ones in the orange. So I think what I'm going to try and do is add some of the the gold. I don't have any bronze. Although this, this one here is classing itself as, as gold. It has got quite a bronze tinge to it as well. So I've got my black, quite a bit of black in it. I've used the bubble wrap to get the green effect. I've used pens to colour in the heat embossed stamping. So I am left just with adding the gold or bronze. So as I say, these flowers are now dry and I'm just thinking about sticking them on sort of a random pattern around the page. And then I've got two of Dawn Ditchburn sentiments I got off her Etsy shop. I've got Flower Power or I've got Happiness Blooms from Within. So that's my idea of one of using one of those. So what I need to do is get some gold on these flowers first. So I don't know whether just using my finger and trying to pick out the, the, the raised grain of the flowers might work. And then edging them. I mean, I do tend to just use my finger with this polish. So I'm going to put you on the fast forward again and see, see what I can create. position these and see where, where I think they should go. I don't know, maybe it's a bit random. I suppose I've got to think about when I'm folding this up, it's going in my folder, isn't it? So I maybe don't want to be cutting the cutting the big ones. I should maybe go. I suppose I can cover up the things underneath. I'll just put the flower power in the middle. Oh, happiness blooms from within. Is that going to be too big? Centre, they're going to get folded, but that should be okay. Happiness blooms from within. Try and have a look at it in the camera to see if I uh, can't really see it. Ooh, nice and colourful. So I think I'll go ahead and stick those down. So I'll be back with you in a moment. Right, there we go. I'm back with the finished page. 
So we've used some black and we've got gold on the flowers, bubble wrap in the background in the green and we've coloured in the black heat embossed stamps around the edge and then I've edged it with black and the sentiment happiness blooms from within. So thank you for watching and I'll leave a link to Amanda's channel down below and go across to the hashtag to see what everybody else is making this month and thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.